Hey everybody, it's Alabama Deep. I'm coming back at you. Okay, so now we are about to finish up our sub video. I did a little bit of looking at my uh, Submariner uh, case here. And uh, one viewer said it would be friction fit. I believe this one is going to be. Uh, which is pretty cool. Um, and I have to admit, I've never changed a bezel insert out on a uh, Submariner before. So, um, I think I'm not going to do it just yet. I want to save my Rolex bezel insert till I feel more comfortable with this case. And then when I do feel uh, comfortable, I will go ahead and change it out into another video. But for right now, I think I'm going to leave it as is because I'm doing enough tonight uh, for that. So I'm just going to go ahead and we're just going to go ahead and wrap this up for tonight by putting the dial in uh, movement into this case and just call it a wrap. So let's go ahead and let's do that. I'm putting my finger cots back on so I do not mess up this movement with anything from my skin. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. So there we go. and get my uh, optics on and we're going to go ahead and we're going to start I'm going to zoom out just a little bit there we go Now I'm probably going to have to fit I'm probably going to have to fit the stem and cut it a little bit but first I want to try putting it in as it were okay so I'm going to go ahead and bring this on over here. Let me double check the crystal. See some marks on here. But I don't think the marks are on the inside of the case at all. I think everything is on the outside. I am going to double check though. Take it. Looks like I do have a little something on the inside. All right, I got that out. Now 
need to make sure that I got all of this off. I guess that could be on the inside of this case. I don't see how though. That's got to definitely be on the outside. Okay, so there we go. Anything we have is on the outside of the case. Got it turning upside down. That's just so gorgeous looking. Oh, wow. I'm drooling already, folks. Let me get inside here. And it is in. Let's see how it looks. Jesus Christ, I love it. Absolutely love it, but I noticed one thing. We're gonna have to take it back out Take it back out because I just saw something I did not like. We have to correct that. And that is basically. Oh, crap. I guess it'll be all right. It's just that I noticed it's off just a hair. And I think I can fix that at a later date. For right now, I just want to get it done and through. It's in. So now we have to go ahead and get this movement locked down into place. <laughs> oh, excellent. Okay. So let me go ahead and let me get my clamps out. Got my clamps right here. And take my cots off, I guess, because I'm no longer touching the movement. My hands are going to be strangulated by these. Oh, come on off. There you go. All right, so I've got to figure out how this, yeah, I see you. So which size are you going to be? And I want to adjust the camera because the camera is going to come with me.
So where are you going to? That does fit in there pretty nice. I kind of want to add a little extra something or something to it. You know? And I guess I'm going to break my rule. Okay. And so I wonder which piece it's going to be. Could be a big one, a big long one. And it's a little too long. So, let's see. Uh-huh. Kind of moving on over here a little bit. A little too long. This one's more short. So I kind of want to see how this is going to look. I don't think it's going to go either. <clears throat> I think I just dropped it inside of there. I surely did, folks. And it just falls back out. Can't really see because the camera's in my way. Let me scoot this back just a little bit and let me get myself a better angle. I have to get down on my knees for this one, I think. I'm gonna turn my light on.
I'm like moving everything everywhere, trying to get in to see if I can get all this better. That looks about right. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and see if I can't put a screw there. But I don't want any any regular screw. I'm having issues with my screws. My screws are wanting to break. So I gotta be careful with them. So I think I'm gonna put a different one in than that. I'm having such an issue with those. I'm not even sure what that was. Hmm. So, okay. I got one screw in. I'm not tightening them down tight. I'm just trying to get it fitted in place. Okay, so now I might tighten this one down. Okay, so now I gotta tighten up this other one. Now, I understand that if anything else should go, I can always put a fake dial in here, but I'd rather not. I've done so much. Damn you. Damn you, Tim. Let's get this little clamp turned around. It'll be all set. Okay. I got that one in there. And you get a screw. So I don't want to use these these screws. There's a, this set comes with two types of screws. And I would much rather use the other screw. The one with the short head on it. Because my other ones are wanting to strip. The heads are coming completely off. 
uh, then I'm having a th the thread part stuck in the movement in the, in the main plate and it's just a pain in the butt so There we go. Okay. Looks like that's going to do it, folks. Okay, so now I've just got to go ahead and uh, let's make this... Uh, water resistant as much as possible so I have uh, the gasket for it and I'm going to put a little bit of that uh, silicone coating on it and this helps keep the water out it's really good stuff to use That's a thick one. It should go on. I have to get my hands in there and do it. You know, that's the strangest damn sign. Hmm. Damn it. Well, I'm going to have to search for a proper gasket for it. For right now, let's just put this on here. And I'm going to come back and we'll look for the right one. Let's have a look. Go ahead and uh, let's go 
ahead and let's put the correct pin back in here. I do have a couple things. I have no idea what that little marking is on my crystal, but it's not on the inside. I've already taken a toothpick and I have already scratched at it and everything else. So, I would love to know. I'm sure it's just some type of dirt or something. I don't know. So we'll get it off. All right. And there it is. There is my finished watch. Look at that beautiful thing. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. I'm going to go ahead and put it on. Why the heck not? Heck yeah. So I have two pieces of unfinished business I have to do. Uh, one... I'm going to have to figure out uh, where my gasket went to. And number two, I'm going to have to figure out what the scratch is on, is on my uh, crystal. So I don't know what it is. Let's put it on, ladies and gentlemen. Let the whole world behold the glory of Alabama Deep's sub build. <laughs> Just pretty, pretty, pretty. If I say so myself. Now, it looks like that crystal to me is off I mean when I look at it, it I guess it's okay for right now I'll figure out I'll, I'll, I'll figure this out later but oh, there you are pretty 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 oh my so looks like I'm going to call this one a complete for tonight I'm going to find out more And find out more what's going on as I wear it now. Find out more what's going on with the Cyclops. I'm thinking I'm going to have to replace that Cyclops. Quite possibly. But then again, I am a right-handed person. And when I look at that, it looks normal. So when I look at it, I'm always looking at an angle like that. It lines up. But uh may have to replace it just because it does look like it's a little bit off. I know this guy is using a uh, fake uh, movements and fake dials. This is a real dial. So, you know, whenever I look at it, it's customized. That would look like right to me. To anyone else, that bubble is off. So, okay, okay, well, we'll just order a submariner, a submariner bezel for it. I mean, a crystal for it. Uh, I'm going to wear it for a little bit first, because kind of like Frank, Frank is off-center, but when I wear it, I'm looking at it like that, so it lines up perfectly. Uh, I'm a right-handed person uh, when I wear my watches anyway. But the rest of it, hey, that looks pretty good. I'll take that for a dollar, for sure. That will work for me. So it is in. I've got to get a gasket for the inside of this case. Um, I know it came with a gasket. So i got to find the gasket. And then uh, I could have sworn it was one, one of two sitting over there. But uh, maybe not. Or maybe I just didn't look at it right. Because this camera is in my way. But uh, in either which case. I think it is absolutely just a gorgeous watch. Um, I'm happy to add this to my collection. Uh, I'm going to investigate more into the bezel because I would like to have the original bezel on there, but not at the risk of damaging my newly bought in case. 
and I need to study this case more. I need to see how it's made. And uh, that's going to take a little bit of time, more so than in a, in a, in a video for us. But yeah, uh, this is a good build. I'll take this for a dollar for damn sure. Uh, those hands look about right. They're aged about right, if you can all agree that the coffee standing did a good job on that. And uh, yeah, I'll look into possibly a new crystal. And we'll do a video on how to replace a crystal. I've done videos on how to smooth the crystal out and how to do a um, uh, restoration on a crystal. But we haven't done an actual crystal swap out. So I think we'll definitely be doing that. All right. And uh, the dial does fit like it should. It has fit to the inside of the Submariner case almost perfectly. Um, once again, I'll take that. That's perfectly fine. That's how I see a Submariner uh, dial fitting into a uh, case anyway is that it's never really supposed to touch the case itself uh, that's more of what the movement is all about and the movement is, has done that and the movement is in place and is being held up by the clamps so that is good I'm going to see about a little bit what I can do extra on this later like uh, putting some rubber around the movement to help absorb shock or anything like that and i'm going to replace that gasket so okay guys and gals thank you for watching this is the final video for the night i like the submariner uh it's very very pretty and uh, just those couple of bugs to work out i'm going to have to put a gasket in it uh i'm going to have to look into a crystal and we can't forget the slow date change that's probably because there's an insert on top of this and that insert is causing friction on the dial. So I may have to uh, look into getting a vintage calendar wheel, which I'm wondering how that's going to work on a 3135 consisting. It was never made for that. Um, I'm sure they make one for 3135, but let's say that they don't. Um, I know that the calendar date changed the opposite direction on the older movements. So give me some suggestions out there, guys and gals, on that. If the slow date change keeps up, it doesn't do what it's supposed to do, and I need to replace it with an open 9, open 6, is there a date ring made for a 3135? Comment below. Uh, this is my build using a raffle dial case. I will be ordering from him again. Everything looks to me as it should. And, uh, yeah, I am just, I'm satisfied with this build for the moment. And uh, we may go back later and help Beef support this dial up with some more sticky dots and uh, other dial dots to keep it in place. I don't know if everything in the center here is going to work. I'm thinking maybe I should have put some on the outside as well to hold this dial on. But maybe I'm just overthinking it. But for now, uh, guys and gals, thank you for watching. I am gone. I'm going to go do some things for the wife and enjoy the rest of my evening. I will catch you all on my next video. Um, and I'm thinking that's going to be, uh, as soon as I get the parts in, we'll be putting that date just 1601 back together. And I'm going to start on that ladies' date just off camera simply because I can't do it with this damn thing in my face like it is. It's hard enough to even build a watch with this camera in my face. But if I can figure out a way for y'all to watch me reconstruct the watch, sure, we'll, we'll have at it. And we'll show the end results of that when it is complete. So, all right, everybody. I hope y'all have a great night. Comment below with some of my questions. Um, help me out here. Uh, the best dial dots to use. Um... Tell me about any type of uh, open nine, open six calendar wheel that may be available for 3135. And uh, tell me what uh, y'all have done in the past. If you had to artificially age anything, what did you do and how did you do it? Comment below and I'll catch y'all on my next video. And I will see you next time. Bye-bye.